This ex the state of Ewotubu Road, located off Ekenwa Road in Benin City, the Edo State Capital. Beginning from Ewotubu Police Station, the stretch of the Ewotubu Road and other adjoining roads are no go area, especially whenever it rains. <laughs> The residents lament that over the years, the government has been ignoring their cry for a lasting solution to their dilapidated road. For the past five years, 54-year-old Juliet Sunday has been trading here on a road to road. So look at our water, since this morning, we are building water, we are going to put inside water, water is product at this. There's not just a water to boom, you know, there is a boom, so you know, concern them. They are building another road, they are about not able to boom. Uh, about to borrow, please, you come and help us. My children cannot walk on the road to go to school. It's war because there is a lot. You came when the water has subsided. Now is it now? Is every okay now? It used to be much. If you are not careful, you will fall. People easily fall. Cars fall. You know, problem here and there. So we beg if the government can uh, consider us. This makes even mind. If you go inside, down, down, there's a path that nobody can, no even vehicle can pass there. Motorists plying the road also have their fair share of the impacts of the deplorable roads. This road have remained like this for the past years. And this Ewotubu road is a very straight road from Ekenwa Road to Ewotubu village. So this road has become a bad road for the past years. We have been expecting government to come to our aid, to come and fix the road. Up to now, nothing has been done. As you can see now, I'm going to mechanic. Every day I do apply this road. Between two to three days, my car must go to the mechanic, just because of the bad state of the road. So we are calling on the government to come and please and assist us to fix the road. It's very bad. Every day the videos, the videos come out. I can't do anything. If we do our road, give us, we feel happy. You understand? Uh -huh. Always say video, 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 every day. Video us. We don't need it. And to do the road. Ah, every day. Every day, no, no road. For here, go reach bus stop. There's no road. The state government says it is not unmindful of the plights of residents of Ewotubu and its environs occasioned by the deplorable conditions of their roads. As I speak right now, um, we have almost completed the design work for those group of roads. When I mean group of roads, we are not looking at only a road to because taking care of a road to be alone will not solve the problem of that area. So we have almost about is it five roads which are under consideration. You have the main Ewotubu road itself, which starts all the way from Owina Junction. Owina Junction through all the way down to power line. That's one. You also have children's medical road, which contributes a lot of erosion from its own end, also down to the Ewotubu side. You also have um, uh, there's this road they call Okwe Road. It's also there. Then Erumse, if you Erumse also contributes to all that area. So all those group of roads which are within that same vicinity have to be considered together. And that design is what we have put or we are trying to conclude before the process of procuring a contractor who will do the work. Let's not forget that procuring a contractor is also contingent on us having the resources to be able to prosecute that work. And in addition, we are also working hand in hand with our colleagues who are in FUMA, who are in charge of flood and erosion, to ensure that we give a very holistic work. You understand? So that's the process where we are currently. It's not as if we are not doing it. I'm sure that members of the public may have seen the consultant when they were taking their data. If all those things are not done, in the final analysis, you will just end up maybe transferring the problem that you have in one place to another place.
So that's why we are going trying to see how we can do a thorough study to ensure that we put a holistic solution together that will solve the problem of that entire catchment. Residents of Ewotubu and its environs are hopeful that governments will find a lasting solution to the deplorable condition of Ewotubu Road. Jude Agweke, reporting for VOS TV News, Benin.